Yeah. Wait, I'm sorry, Jalen, please speak up a little bit. Mitch, he hasn't really had a lot of the bats with runners and scores in this one, so would it be nice to see him come up there and establish the bases loaded? Yeah, I mean, anytime we send a guy to the plate with bases loaded, it's a good thing. Um, you know, the one thing coming out of spring training that he showed us uh, in RBI situations, he, he didn't panic, he used the whole field, had a pretty good plan at the plate, wasn't over aggressive, and that was the case again today on a cutter from Sedano that stayed up. Uh, we've seen him go the other way multiple times and no bigger than today. So um, he's, he's put together a, a number of quality at-bats of late, particularly. What do you make of the outing from Drew with the 10 strikeouts but not getting out of the fifth inning? You know, the high pitch count. Uh, we, fortunately, we overcame our mistakes in the first inning. A um, couple of walks, wild pitch, a ball that I think on most days, that's a ball that Benny's going to catch. Uh, but, you know, the strikeouts are there. And, the, and as, you know, we talked about it before the game, uh, you know, concerned about the innings totals, it's more about total number of pitches thrown. And, and Drew's going to run a lot of deep counts. Today, a lot of swing and miss. Um, balls that he, you know, they, they were able to connect on balls up in the strike zone on a day where the ball's really carrying, a couple of solo home runs. But, you know, he kept us in the ball game. And, and we were relentless offensively, just kept coming all day long. Yeah, he cramped up. Um, it started to loosen up once he got off the field and got some work in the training room. Uh, I'm hopeful he'll be in the lineup tomorrow because of just the cramp and not a pull. He never felt anything pop or or really grab him with too much severity. Then you talked a little bit yesterday about some hard hit balls and line drives that weren't going your way. When you see the little check swing double and the little bloop double that followed, you start thinking it's, it's finally going to go our way a little bit? Well, you'd like to think at some point it evens out. Uh, we, we caught a couple of breaks, uh, but still, uh, you, you can't take away from the quality of the at-bats all day long today. But, uh, yeah, uh, you know, the, part of the danger of the overshift is that, you know, you're going to be susceptible to some of the ground balls that go the other way. We had a couple of them today. So, Benny with a couple, uh, a check swing, a ground ball to straight up third on the shift, a swing and bunt, uh, Mookie with a bloop the other way. So, yeah, we're able to capitalize on them. Is that the sort of thing you sort of hope Benintendi can add to the offense? Like, obviously, he can, you know, hit line drives, too, but the ability to manipulate the bat like that? He definitely has that. Uh, and, and he has, the, the I think, the wherewithal for a very young player uh, to have that kind of strike zone discipline uh, and, and to maybe hit to the situation a little bit. Uh, it was a little bit on display here today. And you lose that fly ball on the triple. Is that, is that, is that ball a matter of experience um, for Benintendi? Yeah, I thought he jumped early. He had a little bit more room still on the, on the warning track. Uh, and, and maybe with the wind, the way the ball was carrying, didn't quite think it was going to be as far. But uh, like I said, I th I, that's a ball that Benny typically will catch. What did you uh, make of the outing Kelly? Joe Kelly, he, you know, he, he was very good. I thought Vasky did a very good job leading him with some secondary pitches to start some hitters off with, maybe making the effectiveness of his fastball a little bit more. Uh, good to see him put the ball on the ground as much as he did. So he was efficient, gives us two-plus quality innings to bridge it. Uh, and we were opportunistic with the timeliness of the run scored.